Welcome back to V's Garage. On today's episode of the RB26 rebuild, uh, we're going to be putting new gaskets for the oil filter housing. I'm going to be taking off this knock sensor since it's broken. I'm going to go get it off my spare RB26 I have in the corner. Uh, we're going to be taking off the lines, changing the copper gaskets that go behind the lines. I'm debating if I should put a coat of black paint. If I do, I'll let you, well, I'll let you guys know because you'll be seeing it in the video. Alright, so I just told you guys I was debating on painting the block, so uh, now I've decided. I went ahead and taped everything. Uh, I'm going to be putting a fresh coat of black paint on it just to make it uniform all night. And then once we, put a, we start putting the gaskets back on, it's going to be the final assembly. is painted and is dried. I went ahead and cleaned all the surfaces where the gaskets go. I went ahead and cleaned as best as I could uh, the lines for the turbos, these little outlets. Now we're going to get ready. Uh, I'm going to take the, the knock sensor off of the block because it's broken and I'm going to be putting this one that I took from my spare engine. Okay, the only reason I'm changing it because the plug broke while we're removing it. Let me change that real quick. So now that the, the knock sensor is on, I'm going to be putting uh, the oil drain, the little gasket, I'm going to be putting it back onto the block. It's just two little 12 mils, really easy to do. step is going to be uh, the turbo oil lines. Uh, I changed a little um, copper o-ring. I'm going to be sliding this back on. I won't be tightening them all the way until we uh, put the turbos on just in case we have to clock uh, the lines a little bit. But we will be putting them snug so they don't move around. Just like this here. Screw it back into the block. Like I mentioned with the uh, oil lines, I'm not going to be tightening them all the way. Just until the, the head's back on with the turbos and stuff, just in case we have to clock them. I just cleaned the inside of the block where it goes. I cleaned uh, the housing. Now we're just going to put like this little gasket here. Come and slide it on, just like so. I'm going to put you guys down and uh, maybe do a time lapse of me putting it back on, but that's pretty much it. Now we're going to be putting uh, the thermostat in this thermostat housing. I'm going to be using uh, the OEM Nissan fluid gasket to uh, put around the housing to make sure it all seals up. So first things first, we're going to come here, just drop it into the block. So I just bolted on the housing for the thermostat. 
uh, earlier before we put the oil uh, the oil filter housing back on we put the lines for the turbos back on um, on the next video we're going to be putting the head back on that we got back from the shop with some ARP head studs right over here I just want to thank you guys for watching today's video if there's anything you guys didn't like make sure to say it if there's something you did like make sure to say it also all the comments you guys leave are constructive I mean if you guys don't tell me what you don't like I won't know I'm trying to do this for your entertainment so uh, if there's anything please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video